Hi, it's Dave here. Uh, just a quick update on how I'm getting on. Things are motoring along really quickly. Uh, I guess my understanding of stuff is better, how cars are put together, how CAN bus works, how this whole system is going to work, and I'm reading stuff online. I kind of understand it much quicker than I did when I took on the project with the RX-8, which was a whole load of unknowns. Uh, I, I felt like I was just banging my head against the wall continuously. Um, so I've got the BMS system behind me now, plugged in, and I'm chatting to it. So I'm getting the temperatures out of it currently and um, oddly it gives four temperatures but I've only got three sensors so one of the temperatures just doesn't work I can only assume an older pack had four sensors but um, that's exciting because once I got, I've got that information now I can continue writing my code and I can extract all the BMS information and have that working on the bench um, next thing is to plug the charger into it and I'll, I'll go into more details in a separate video about that this video really is about uh, getting the leaf motor out of the car so I've got a couple of clips coming of, of how I progress with that and um, I'll play those now a quick update on removal of the engine. Um, came out here today because I got my new compressor, um, so it meant I could get the nut off the end of the drive shaft, taking this tie rod end out for the steering. Um, but I can only get the drive shaft to remove about half. I can see it's about halfway out. Um, I think it's because obviously it goes back into the engine and there's just not enough play. So there is a there is a, a, a bottom end there. And I've undone that, but I can't get it to come loose. And I'd imagine if I could, this will pop out this way. If I can get the drive shaft out. Um, I can't get it to go loose. I mean, the, the hole is still exactly, I can fit the bolt straight back through. So I've not even managed to move it a little bit. Um, so rather than trying to force anything, I'm going to start to remove the engine. And hopefully I can drag these out. Um, so I've come a bit further than I'd expected today. Uh, got the crane out. Taken out one nut there, one nut there and there are four around the back and they're all loose so I'm just about to now undo those because the crane is taking the weight and I'll see if I can actually just get the whole lump out getting those bolts uh, on the back bottom two were a bit of a pain but uh, just patience really you know just undoing it a little bit by a little bit fingertips uh, length and uh, they came undone biggest problem I had was drive shafts um, got them both out both sides but um, figured naively that I'd be able to pull the whole engine out with the drive shafts attached. Um, unfortunately that's not the case. Uh, I've made quite a mess there now. I've got a lot of grease on the floor which I didn't really want. But um, essentially there is two bolts on one side which need undoing and then this side will come out. I concentrated all my efforts on this side hence why I've taken the strap off and it's leaked grease everywhere. Couldn't get this side out at all so that's the right hand side. Um, <laughs> undid the two bolts and uh, that end just literally fell out um, so that's good once I got one side out I could pull the whole motor out and it's now sat here so a bit of tidying up to do now and uh, that'll be me done for today so there it is sat in my office uh, I've now taken the gearbox off over the side here uh, take a little weight off as well obviously the drive shafts are out but that's what will power the RX-8 straight through into the gearbox. The motor will obviously live 90 degrees because this actually comes out the right hand side of the engine, uh, of the, sorry, of the leaf. And um, I'm gonna spin this whole thing 90 degrees counterclockwise and uh, that'll then be powering backwards. Um, still got my batteries and stuff here. As I said earlier, I've got the BMS all plugged in and uh, operational now, but I'll go through that in a bit more detail in another video. Thanks for watching. I'll try and keep you up to, up to date and um, subscribe and like and send me messages. Cheers.